morning and welcome to Rose Red Homestead Micro Moment Monday, where today we're going to have a little fun, do something easy and very, very quick. One of the things that I just love is to have individual ingredients out in our food storage that I can put together in a variety of ways. And um, when I think about that, I think about having chicken chunks. Think how many different ways we could use chicken chunks. And I have them both canned and in our freezer. And the, in the part in the freezer is part of our level one preparedness where we are getting ready for uh, 60 days of meals. Now, I've shown you before the shortcut for tomatoes using the Cento tomato puree. I am finding that this is so very versatile. With just this one ingredient, I can make several things. Now we have already done our first recipe and that was pizza sauce. And one of our viewers said, why are you going to the work of canning? Just open it and season it and then use it as is. And that would work just great. Why can when we don't have to? But for our family with only two of us, it would take us forever to have used that batch of pizza sauce, which is why I chose to can it. So for us, there is something to be said about having uh, some tomato products pre-canned. But today is not necessarily that day because we are going to make super fast tomato juice. Now I've done some experimenting with this Cento and all we have to do is just add water. But how much water? And one of my concerns was, is this puree going to be a fine enough texture that it would make a, a lovely juice? And so I discovered that, yes, indeed, it works just great. I like a little bit of lemon and a little bit of salt in my tomato juice. I really like tomato juice. Um, I'm using it as part of my weight loss um, food plan. So the next problem I needed to solve, well, what is the ratio? What is the ratio? How much water do I need to add to a full can? And do I have to make the full can? Uh, well, the answer on that really just depends on your own taste. And I'll tell you what worked for me. First of all, when we made our pizza sauce, we had about a cup of the Cento puree left. And I froze that. And I can tell you that now I know for sure that it freezes beautifully. I froze it in a one quart bag flat, put it in the bin that was with my other sauces that I have frozen, and it thawed and worked out fantastic. So if we ever have any leftover, we now know what we can do. Those with freeze dryers may want to freeze dry it. Um, I'm not sure it would work too well in a dehydrator, but it might. But that's not what we're about today because we're going to make this whole can into a pitcher of uh, tomato juice. So here is the ratio that I discovered worked really well for me. And that would be four parts of puree to three parts of water. So if we use one fourth of a cup as our part, then four of those one fourth cups would be one cup and three would be three quarters of a cup. So that would mean that to make up one cup of puree, I would just add three fourths of a cup of water and that would be great. But what if this can is our unit of measure? This whole 28 ounce can, I want the whole thing. So if I'm putting 28 ounces of puree into this pitcher, how many ounces of water would I put? Well, what is three fourths of 28? And that would be 21. And so I have a measure here that measures in ounces. So 21 would be up to here with water. Now I could measure out the water or I could just eyeball and have about this much water to sort of rinse out the can because this is not an exact science. It is more to our taste. So let's get going. So I'm gonna use this can and set these aside. Now I am also trying out this new can opener, and it is not in our Amazon store because we're not happy with it yet. And I don't put anything in our Amazon store that I can't wholeheartedly recommend, but we're gonna try it. It's a little battery operated one and it cuts the can under here instead of making a sharp lid. So we're still getting used to it, but I wanna show you what, how, we're, how it's working for us. 
So you put the can rim right here next to this roller, but right in this little uh, space here. Line that up, and you just push the button, and it or lines itself, and then it goes all the way around the can. It does not stop itself, so when I know it's been around full circle, then I stop it and just pull it off. Now, there it is. And this edge is not sharp. This edge is not sharp, so it just does... We got it, Jim. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, that's what we didn't see last time. Right. We just, we really wrestled with it the first few times. So what do you think about it, Honeycar? Are we ready to put it into the so store? I think what we need to do is go ahead and do one of the 8-ounce cans or 6-ounce cans of whatever it is. Because we did that yesterday and it didn't work. Yeah, okay. Good idea. So we'll do a few more trials with it. And then we will uh, let you know if and when we put it in our store. All right, so let's just dump this whole thing right in the pitcher here. All right, now what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and measure out 21 ounces I'm going to pour it in this can, and then I'm going to remember about where three quarters is, so next time I can just fill up the can. So I'm going to get filtered water from our refrigerator. Okay, and I'm just going to pour it in here. So it comes up to right here. On the one side you can see the rings. It's about... It's two rings down. Yeah, it's two rings down. And it's about up to where this little place is on this label, where it comes to an end right here, right by this writing. So that's going to be an easy thing to remember. Okay, so now I'm going to just dump the water in. And stir. Now this makes 49 ounces of tomato juice. A, a bottle in the grocery store that is comparable in size at 46 ounces is between 50 cents and a dollar more than the cost of using a can of Cento to make up a pitcher of tomato juice. So there's a little bit of a savings. But also what I really like about it is that I can make it up in whatever volume I want and then just freeze the rest. Now I do like a little bit of lemon juice in mine. So here is some lemon juice that I froze. I only needed part of a squeezed lemon juice and so I put the rest in this little baggie and froze it. So I'm going to start with a tablespoon and then just a few sprinkles of salt. And I'm just going to stir this now. So let's try it and see if it's ready. Just a tad more lemon juice. Well, it's now yeah, two it's tablespoons <laughs> and another sprinkle of salt. Okay. So there's the viscosity of it.
I want another tablespoon of lemon juice. <laughs> it's good just that way, but you can do this to your taste. What the heck? <laughs> okay. So much for a tad. <laughs> so much for a tad. <laughs> Ah, there it is. There it is. So we have made tomato juice in under five minutes. And so I hope that you are um, experimenting with the Cento or the Contadina Puree or whatever Italian brand you can find as well. Um, not all purees would work for this in my opinion. So have fun with this and enjoy some tomato juice, and we will see you next week for another Micro Moment Monday.